Hello and welcome to the album man and yes as you can see by the title I'm bringing back this. This is Feeding the Trolls episode 4. And yes I mean I've had quite a few requests to bring this series back. It's been a long time. What October since I made one of these? Who knows why I absolutely love making these. But um, we've got plenty of troll comments to go for. Plenty. So this is going to be um, maybe a fairly long one to make up. So I hope you will enjoy. So let's start with when I was doing my Guns N' Roses discography. My first review ever, as many of you will know, was the Spaghetti Incident by Guns N' Roses. That was my first review um, in early December of 2011. And when I was doing my Guns N' Roses discography, I decided to remake this video and do a 1.5. And, of course, it got a bit of hatred, because, quite frankly, I hate the album. So, let's see what we get from the first user, who is called Sonic Headfuck. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not joking. The guy is honestly called Sonic Headfuck. So you can tell just by that username, it's not going to be the most positive of comments. So, from him, we get loads of energy on this album. You need your ears cleaned out. By the way, no people are killed in the St. Louis way. Right? Yeah, okay, but I sort of know that. I don't care. Let's address the first thing. So, you need your ears cleaned out, really. I mean, I was expecting a bit more hateful from some of that. I thought you could have gone a bit further, but just should have got my ears cleaned out. Basically, you know, a bit of a fanboy. Oh, well. We'll move on. And then we get to it on the same video. Killed CZ, who just said, What the fuck is that? question mark, and then dot, dot, dot. I mean, what WTF is is what? Could you be please more specific? I mean, you can't just say, what is that? I mean, do you mean, what am I? I'm a human. Um, do you mean what the album is? It's, you know, music. I mean, I don't understand what you mean. Um, so yeah, if you want to you wanna tell me what you um, meant down below that, really appreciate that. Okay, then we get to Headlong Flight by Rush, my ninth track review. And this guy, he's going to pop up a lot. He's just a weirdo. I don't even understand this. It's not, well, it's sort of trolling in the pure sense of it's not hatred at all. It's just, I don't understand it. So this guy, super mega uber genius. He posted, you are welcome, my son. Happy Father's Day to you, too. And then had some link to some video. And I was just like, what the hell? What? You happy Father's Day. Welcome, my son. Firstly, he is not my father. Okay, let's just get that straight. Secondly, if he was, why would he be saying, if if I was his son, why would he say Happy Father's Day to me? That's just confusing as hell. So, am I now his father? I I honestly don't know. And then he sent me some weird song, um, Max Davidson. I can't remember sang like that. Yeah, that was very weird. This guy's going to crop up again. Anyway, then we get to um, my album review of Slash's Apocalyptic Love. And this is just one of those quick, pointless ones. Chris Doherty, you look funny. Well, no, no real need to express that opinion, but whatever. I don't give a damn. But then, then, only three days ago, on my unboxing of Rush's Clockwork Angels Classic Rock Fan Pack, we get a man, or woman, named Super Mega Uber Genius, and this, I swear to God, was only posted three, three days ago, when the original one was seven months ago. So, I don't know why he suddenly came back to my channel, but he did, or she, and the first comment, Gnomes, and I say Gnomes instead of the more popular um, pronunciation of Gnomes, is because he puts G, then a, um, an apostrophe, and then the rest of Gnomes. So it seems to be like Gnomes, no, uh, yeah, and then next question, what, what, the, what the hell, gnome, what is a gnome anything to do with Rush and Clockwork Angels? And then, and then, he posted straight after, saying, unboxing day, the moments that make up a doll day, and then, happy 012213 Angel fans. Let's, let's just get with the first one, unboxing day, the moments that make up a doll day. Now, I'm thinking maybe that's a reference to Time by Pink Floyd, you know, making the mo the moments that make up a doll day, something like that. Could that could that be where that's from? I, I think so. But then, Happy 012213 Angel fans. What the hell is Angel fans? Is Angel fans a user? I've never heard of Angel fans even being subbed to my channel. I don't even know if this is a real person. What the hell does Happy 012213 mean? What sense does this guy make? I mean... 
I am genuinely confused and baffled by this weirdo. What the hell is he on? Oh, this is one of my favourite trolls. Um, one of my favourites. This was on my Few Against Many by Fire Wind Down with you, um, number 39, and this is not one of my best um, received reviews. Anyway, I only really had one troll. This is called Bob to the Boney, and in all in caps, look at this Michael Jackson Bieber reject. And that's how he talks as well, obviously. A Michael Jackson Bieber reject. Okay, firstly, where does the Michael Jackson bit come in? I don't think I particularly look like Michael Jackson. Um, I, I really don't. I don't seem to have any of the characteristics of Michael Jackson. I don't talk in a high voice. Well, not that high. And Bieber? Where, where does the Bieber thing come from? My hairstyle is different to Bieber's. Um, my face is different to Bieber's. My teeth are different to Bieber's. My voice, my taste in music is different to Bieber's. Um, and then, and then he posted another comment saying, Sorry, and this was a bit after. Sorry, I was just being a dick. At first glance, I thought you were a white Michael Jackson impersonator. And then I said Bieber to add on, Nothing personal, good with you. Hold on, hold on. I don't give a damn about the other stuff he said. It's one thing that stood out. I thought you were a white MJ impersonator. A white Michael Jackson impersonator. How am I a Michael Jackson impersonator in any way? Okay? I mean... I, I honestly don't understand it. I mean... I can try and do a Michael Jackson voice. That's... Hi, I'm Michael Jackson. And I like children. I'm sorry, I couldn't help myself. Um, yeah, I, um, I'm on the camp of believing Michael Jackson may have been a little bit of a Jimmy Savile in his day. Anyway, I really wouldn't consider myself a, a white Michael Jackson impersonator. No, I, I'm, I'm a black Michael Jackson impersonator. Anyway, um, so then we move on to Oh Love by Green Day track review number 10. And from 15 Heavy Metal Head, free, 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 we get Mac, exclamation mark. Oh, um, okay, I mean, was he using a Mac? Good for you having an Apple product, I don't give a damn, I don't. I have Windows, can't afford bloody Macs. Um, my name is not Mac. Um, I wasn't wearing a Mac. Um... I can't really think of anything else now. Let's move on. So, Chinese Democracy by Guns N' Roses and with you 41. One of my most controversial album reviews, certainly. I've had far more controversial videos, but out of album reviews, yeah, you know, split opinions always. So firstly, and this has some of my has some really good trolls on it. Firstly, we get from Bean Machine 70. Guy looks like Chucky's ugly uncle. Um I wouldn't say I really have the same type of orange as Chucky. Um, really, you know, it's this is this is called Auburn, you know, not 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 like bright ginger. Um, and I wouldn't really say I look much like Chucky, but whatever, whatever. There we go, and the weirdly named four o a o three one six. Who thought of that? Weird. He's saying, get your teeth fixed, yeah, poof. Um, so yes, apparently I'm a poof for having, um, oh god, what's it called, not straight teeth, sticking out teeth. Yeah, because that, that makes logical sense, obviously. That guy's just, oh. And then this guy, Mr. Football Manager guy, has come across him um, a couple of times. And this is a great comment. Instead of saying, if we're strong is bad, just listen to it. And it's like, well, yeah. I went track by track through the goddamn album. I think I listened to it. Um, I said every song was bad because, hmm, I listened to it and I thought, this is a bad song. I, oh, God. Gandalf DWO back on the looks thing going, oh man, this guy is so ugly. Well, thank you. I don't care. Then, Lee stat one one o seven eight three and this is this is a thing. Um, just put terrible review. 
To which I responded, I don't mind criticism at all, but only when it's constructive. What is this about my review you did not enjoy? Just saying terrible review doesn't exactly help you become a better reviewer. Did you not like the fact I hated it? Did you not like my style of review? Please, elaboration would help. And, of course, as a good choice should, as I've said many times before, she didn't reply. And the last from this one, I think, is from Diggs691. And he says, horrible review. There was a time the top two song, regardless of any song they ever made. The guitar solos, axle screams, both epic, get a clue, hater. Um, where to start here? Horrible review? Well, a bit harsh. And there was a time as a top two song regardless of any song they made. I've never heard a GNR fan say that. He's honestly going to try and say that's better than what Switch Out of Mine or November Rain or Welcome to the Jungle or Night Train or Paradise City. Well, he's allowed his opinion. Um, and he says my opinion's weird. His is the certainly more unconventional opinion, I believe, whatever. And Axel screams, it doesn't really scream that much. I mean, Axel hasn't suddenly become some emo screamer band, I didn't think. Otherwise, I would have hated it even more. And then Get a Clue Hater. Well, yes, I am a hater of that album, but if you're supplying to hate of the bands, then no. No. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed that Feeding the Trolls, and apparently I'm a Michael Jackson impersonator. So, I'm going to be doing some more Michael Jackson covers and impersonations, because clearly that's what I do. Um, yeah. So this has been Michael Jackson, and thank you for watching. So, beat it.